Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to any new viewers or subscribers, welcome. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get more compliments from your fragrance. Stay tuned to FM. So first off, let's just get one thing straight. Wearing a fragrance is not all about getting compliments. First and foremost, we should be wearing a fragrance that we ourselves enjoy. And if we do, we're more likely to go out there and get some compliments anyway. But if you feel like you would like to get a few more compliments from your fragrance, I've just put together a few ideas that might help you to do that. So the first thing is choose the right occasion. For example, if you're dressed up in a nice sharp suit for a formal occasion, choose something that you feel reflects the image that you're trying to convey. If I'm wearing a nice suit for a formal occasion, I'll go for scents like Creed's Royal Oud, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, that are perhaps just a touch more challenging, but because of that, I feel that they just lend an air of sophistication and class, which is part of the image I'm trying to convey when I'm dressed up for those kind of occasions. In contrast, if you're going out for a clubbing night or just a night on the town, then good fun fragrances like Jean-Paul Gaultier La Malle, Dior Sauvage, Spice Bomb, just crowd-pleasing scents that just reflect that slightly more casual, fun vibe that you may be going for. So just think about the occasion, think about what you're wearing, and think, does your scent match the image that you're trying to convey? The next thing to think about is the climate or time of year. In colder months, you want to be choosing a fragrance that's working a little bit harder on its own. It might have some tobacco notes in there, some leather notes, some darker notes. To balance those out, it may have some sweeter notes like vanilla. So fragrances that just work and project well on their own off colder skin. For example, a fragrance I find does this really well is Spice Bomb Extreme. So when the skin's cold, the notes in this are working well enough on their own to project in that colder weather. By contrast, if you were to wear this in warmer weather, then the skin being warmer would project and push the fragrance off your skin to a greater extent. So it could make the notes of this just smell a bit too strong. So this one wouldn't work quite so well in warmer weather. Fragrances that do work well in warmer weather are lighter, brighter, fresher fragrances, often with citrus in the top notes. Fragrances like Neroli Portofino work really well. It's quite a light fragrance and it just needs that boost of projection from warmer climates and warmer skin because the notes itself in a fragrance like this aren't really projecting that well on their own. If you were to wear this in colder weather, the notes in this aren't really strong enough to penetrate that, that colder climate. So it would just be a skin scent in colder weather. So think about the time of year and the climate and choose a fragrance that has notes in it that will complement that temperature. So stronger, darker fragrances in the colder months that will penetrate that colder air and lighter, brighter, fresher fragrances in the warmer months that get a nice boost from the warmth of your skin. Some fragrances work well all year round, and if you wanted to own a fragrance that you didn't have to think about the time of year, something like Creed Aventus or Dior Sauvage, really versatile performers, just watch on the application. They do perform really well, so you would probably want to be spraying less in warmer temperatures with these. The next thing to think about is where to apply the fragrance. Everyone has their own idea of the best way to do this, but the best way is to spray on your pulse points. Your pulse points are generally warmer, so they're just warming up the notes of the juice and helping it to project more and create a nicer scent bubble. So your pulse points would be on your wrists, so spray one on each wrist and here on the neck. That should be enough for most fragrances. If it's a beast mode performer, you might not even need as much as that, maybe just a little spray on the neck. Some people like to spray their hair. If you do, try not to spray directly on your hair because the alcohol can dry the hair out. So you would apply it to a brush and then just run the brush through your hair. If you can, try not to apply to clothing. Scents last and last on clothing. But for example, if you're wearing a jacket and you're not necessarily gonna wash that every time you've worn it, and then the next time you come to wear it, you're using a different fragrance, you're just gonna get this horrible mishmash of fragrances that don't necessarily work well together. So just spray on the pulse points of your skin not on clothing. A great time to apply is when you've just come out of the shower. So fragrances work better on moisture skin. So if you spray just when you've come out of the shower onto your pulse points, then that moisture skin just locks the fragrance onto your skin for longer. Another little tip is Vaseline. 
So you can just rub a very small amount of Vaseline just into your pulse points, spray your fragrance, and that Vaseline just helps hold onto the fragrance and project for a little bit longer. Another great tip for getting compliments from your fragrance is talk to people. Unsolicited compliments are pretty rare. Passers-by in the street or somebody serving you in a shop complimenting you. It could happen, but the chances are it's not going to happen very often. People generally feel a bit awkward or uncomfortable complimenting someone on their fragrance, especially if it's a stranger. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your work colleagues. Compliment them on what they're wearing. Open up a conversation, let them know you're interested in fragrances and you like to smell good. And then the next time you're wearing something they enjoy, they're more likely to give you a compliment. So there you have it. There are my suggestions for getting more compliments from your fragrance. Let me know what experience you've had with compliments. Do you get many? Do you get none? If you don't usually get any, let me know if these suggestions have helped you in any way. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.